Good morning, Lake Lifers. Welcome back to the tree house. Today is a very busy day, but a very special day. So Justin got a call. He got in late last night from Florida, and he got a call from one of his good friends that they found some old, like 200 year old reclaimed wood. We said, absolutely, we want it because um, we could use it around the house, around the tree house. Justin wants to build a table. So Justin is out picking up that wood, and I'm really curious to see what it looks like. But we also got Emmy's dresser being delivered today things in the nursery being done today because Emmy's nursery is upside down so I'll show you that in a second so it's just gonna be a good old Saturday here at the treehouse doing what we do so in a couple hours we also have LFD and LFM coming over to help us with the windows and stuff in Emmy's room because we want to frame those out I'm not gonna be showing the reveal of the baby nursery just yet because that will be a later vlog we plan to do a whole reveal at the end of the month of baby Emery's nursery hopefully we can get it all done before then I'm not sure. Hope so. All right, welcome back to baby Emmy's room. Before we get started, I have repainted this room, except for this wall. This wall is the original color. I have repainted them a soft gray to kind of lighten and brighten the room. Justin thought I was insane for wanting to repaint the room. What we're doing with these windows is that we're all, we're gonna frame out all of them with wood and we're just gonna really make them pop because Emmy has the best view of the house. She really gets to see what this tree house is all about with all the trees. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully we can get it all done. I'm not sure if we can get it all painted today. Um, I know LFG and LFM are gone to go get the wood to put in the windows. We'll see how hard that process is. Well, boys and girls, we just got the dresser delivered and um, it's not opened yet. It's still in a big box. So these two big guys came in, dropped it off, kind of like the rug guys did and they didn't open it, so I need to make sure that this is the right <laughs> dresser because we have not had the best luck with uh, deliveries so far. Okay, the dresser is exactly what I ordered. I'm really excited about this because it's one step closer to getting Emmy's room finished, which has been a complete disaster for the past month and a half, two months. So this mama is getting anxious to get her bedroom finished and done with before anything happens labor-wise. That way, the last month of pregnancy, I can just relax and not have to stress out about anything. So if I can get everything done with the nursery and by the end of this month, we'll be a-okay. We got LFD and LFM up in here, <laughs> working on the windows. Well, we are trimming out the windows in Emmy's nursery here. And the windows to begin with weren't exactly even. So we're having to, actually LFD is readjusting the windows to making sure that they're even at the top so that they're not all wonky. Cause the rest of this house has some wonky issues. ABCs, always be crafting. <laughs> it's the motto of the treehouse. Yes. Well, I showed them kind of the beginning process of this, that we are framing out the windows. An LFD came over on Saturday and helped us. Now I am painting. There was a lot going on with these windows because A, this paint is old, but it matches the same trim. I'm gonna have to go over it again because it needs two coats. I have nothing to do with this room, by the way. <laughs> I take no ingenuity oh, responsibility you know, in here. You're going to be doing that wall. That's your wall. Wood is my specialty. <laughs> I don't like that cute little baby wood stuff. The rustic man wood. Well, the cavity is, wood. This is for your daughter, so you're going to love it. Dang it, that's true. You got me. <laughs> Just remember. Happy wife, happy life. Oh, which side's going against the wall? This side. That would make sense. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a cage. <laughs> right there. I thought the. Uh, My chair is going to 
actually go right there. Your chair's going right there. Yeah. Here. Dresser's going right there. I think we just put it in the middle of the floor until you ship lap. Until I ship lap. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> until Another project! <laughs> I am so full of projects. <laughs> Seriously, it's a, every day there is a project to do. Look at me, I have a tool belt. I know. I came in here. You're just chipping. I I'm just Joanna, nothing. just telling you what to do. Now I got a daggum tool belt. I wake up and just put it on because I know there's going to be something hanging off of the building or out here. <laughs> here we go. This is little Emmy's bed. It's just all sorts of cuteness around here. We got a here. lot going on. It's going to take a little while to get this room all fixed up. Okay, dresser. Ready for a dresser? Uh, I guess so. This is the only thing we bought. I think we're doing pretty good. That's the only thing we bought painted? Yeah. So now we got we got some cool molding. We got a dresser. We got a bed. What else do we need in here? Besides that shiplap just, wall. I'll do that. Just the shiplap. What else? We got blinds to put up and curtains to be hung. That is not my department. I do strictly Ooh. the big stuff. Oh, actually the chair. The chair goes in here too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, do I have to buy another chair? No, you don't. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to save you some money. Thank you. But if anybody knows how to put rocking legs on a chair that already exists, let us know. <laughs> you can use your knees. <laughs> might. You can use your knees like this. All right, so, so we've got this taken care of. That was one box out of the living room. It was a giant one that uh, was just glaring. And we've also got other things, things that y'all have sent in. I don't want you to feel like they're not getting opened. Like look at this. Because we do want to open them, but we want to do it on camera. And we've had all these other projects and videos that we're doing. So what we want to do is start opening some of these. Thank you so much. All this stuff is so expensive. Doing this, all these home repairs and then baby stuff is super expensive. So thank you all so much for all the support. This was like actually one of the first things on my list that I really, really wanted. So when this came in, I was really excited. Because that works on the buns right there, oh, right? Oh, yeah. That's for the buns after <laughs> baby comes. That's post-pregnancy buns. Do you want to open it? You want to see what's inside? I'll, yeah, I'll open it here. You can hold the camera. Where's the skizzers? Don't worry, babe. I got a tool belt. Oh. We all also missed the door. Did they see the door being jammed? Oh, oh they saw it. The front door? Now check this out. They saw it on the last vlog. Look at that. <gasps> butter. Look at that. Guess who fixed that? It's like well, butter. LFG. But can you lock it? <laughs> I'll fix that later. <laughs> One wheel. <laughs> so far, so, you got 5%. <laughs> hey, this is an admirable one. <laughs> Look at this work. <laughs> Working those ads. I mean, that, that can be fun. <laughs> That's, that's a good exercise right there, <laughs> let me tell you. <sighs> okay. I'm new, I'm new to this game. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Looks durable. Man, this thing is nice. City Mini GT. This is the GT model. This is the GT. Gran Turismo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me give, give you guys a little backstory on why I chose Please this, this do, stroller. I have no idea. <laughs> Originally wanted a jogger, but then I also wanted just a regular city one. I was like, well, I don't want to register for two strollers because that's, that's a lot of strollers. So this one was kind of like a combination of both. It's a baby jogger, but it's a city mini. So it's, it's a two-in-one. I hope someone out there knows what that means. It basically means that it can fold in your car, it's lightweight, but you can still use it like on the streets when you go out jogging. Daddy can use it when he's bringing Emmy around the neighborhood when he goes for a jog, but I can still use it when I go out shopping. Oh, let's see. This looks like you could just throw it on your back and <laughs> you do some, some like rucking. Hey, while I'm doing this, who sent this in? This is from Nathan Ryan. Nathan, thank you so much. Where's, where's Nathan from? Nathan is from California. California? Mm hmm. Really? I'm going to get it assembled. Hang on. Oh, you pull, it folds, and that goes oh, in the car. Oh, okay. I think you gotta take it on a test run. I think I do too. You got to. Let's see what you got. I'm excited for this. Baby in. Baby is in. 
and he's off. We need to put towel baby in there. <laughs> Look at that traction. Woo! Oh yeah, you gotta try this thing out. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'm not going up that hill. <laughs> <laughs> I already went up that hill once today. I'm not running with the baby. That looks good. This is kind of nice. I can one hand it, talk. Thank you, Nathan. Awesome gift. I may have to go for a jog myself with this. <laughs> it's super smooth. Get a test run in. Yeah. What else we got? We have a few other things to unbox. You pick. Well, the Rackleys. Okay. These two are very similar in size. Let's see. We have a Michael, and then we have a Creekside Designs. All right. It says. I'm guessing that's probably going to be something crafty. Probably. This one says handmade baby gear, though. My guess is, is that it might be a blanket? I'm going to say it's like a uh, mommy assistant type of thing. A like a swaddling cloth. That's a full-blown deal. Oh Michael, gosh. did you hand make this? <laughs> is this from Michael's? <laughs> Cute. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I feel like we love blankets too, so if she's anything like us, she's gonna be in blankets all the time. Swaddling. What's your guess? Mmm. A sign? I, don't, I have no idea. Let's see what this note says. Congrats on the expected arrival of your baby girl. Oh. Oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh. This is nice. <gasps> oh, wow. Wait, I can't look yet. <laughs> I might have went a little overboard with the gifts, but you can't stop when they're so cute to make. Oh, this is from Olivia and Kevin, and they have a shop called Creekside. Yeah, Creekside Designs, specializing in embroidery and vinyl creations for all occasions, oh including babies. Gosh. This is a perfect color. It's yeah, like, that's my color. That's, that's OSG color. Eggshell teal color. Oh. Did I do good on that color name? Yep, yeah, eggshell teal. Look at that little. So at that. cute. Creekside, I like that name too. What is this? Is that? Oh, this is perfect for when they sleep. Is that a call of sleepy? It's what a sleepy, it? and you know what? It has a zipper on it so that you don't have to like shove it over her head. It's like her first dress. <laughs> this thing is packed. Thank y'all so much. Look at all this. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be the most taken care of baby Look ever. Look how cute. Oh, this says to uh, to LFG. Y'all check this out. It's, I got this. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Finally got it. Aww. And then it's got a hook and a fish on there. Blessed mama. That's cute. Hey, that looks about your size right now. It does. Too, because you've been wearing my clothes lately. I come out, she's wearing a Guggen shirt. <laughs> Day. I'm not gonna lie, some of his shirts are really comfortable. Hooked on, hooked on daddy, LFG. Aww. Look at this, y'all. Well, Olivia and Kevin, thank you guys so much. Michael, thank you so much. And Nathan, we're, we're just overwhelmed with everything. Thank y'all. And if you're curious, P.O. Box is in the description. OSG and LFG. Okay, we're gonna unload this thing over right here. So many unboxings today. We're not gonna <laughs> unbox this right now, I promise. So this is going to be used for a mini project here at the treehouse. And uh, what all have we done today? How long has this vlog been? This vlog has been over a couple days. A couple days. <laughs> I feel so discombobulated. So many projects. I mean, I think we should close it out right here. It's nighttime. I always like closing out at nighttime. So it's like the end of something and then it starts again new. All right, so are we gonna end it out right here? Sure. How good do you look right now? We only, we have a limited time because the bugs at the treehouse get bad when you turn those lights on. How about you come in here? There we go. There. <laughs> All righty, You're cutting me off, babe. You're cutting my head off. <laughs> my arm's getting a little come tired. Come on. <laughs> 
There we go. How about that? Does that work? That's perfect. That's okay. perfect. I can really feel your belly now. Look at that. My belly is poking out. I'll close it out, babe. Yes. Thank you all so much for sending in all the stuff for little baby Emery. You know, we used to get stuff. We did. And now it's all now about... Now it's just it's, Emmy. It's kind of a metaphor of life. Now it's all turning over to her, but we are just, uh, we're blessed and happy. Even though I've got tons of things to fix and, and do around here, um, I, I'm enjoying doing them. And I'm glad we could take you all along for the ride, too. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what do you think our next project should be or do you have a suggestion? Is there anything that we need as parents that maybe I can build that's going to be an effective tool? That's a good idea. A for good raising Emery? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit the notifications, the little ding dong deal, so you get all the videos. And we hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. What was that? I don't know. What kind of bug? I thought it was a bat. Always a venture around every corner here at the Treehouse. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next one.